Thirdly, Earth is in the midst of... ...to address the impact of climate change. The world is changing. Faster. Brighter. With abrupt and irreversible, both coming from the very conservative Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Can't get back to the old climate state. Not for potentially millennia. God help us. Seven out of the world's ten biggest ports are in China. Some people say the overshoot curve is the path we're on. This is how it began. Every continent, every major city, and is now a part of the daily lives of millions of the people of the earth. The world is facing, as you know from headlines. Really bright people just don't understand that there is a limit. And it's full of lots of buzzwords and, 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 and psychology stuff and sociology stuff, and that's all grand and interesting. Maybe not to me. And calm gratitude during even the worst of times is both possible and contagious. Hypotheses. The situation may not last forever. Did you think you could just continue to do what you wanted without consequences? We will do what needs to be done. In prescriptions. With three different psychedelic drugs in phase three trials to treat mental health conditions. have not yet begun to decline. So what? <laughs> so we're losing carrying capacity. We have much work to do. Nobody knows how this is going to turn out. Also the call of those future generations. The lights going out, the trucks stopping, and famine. Prepare my bunker. Surely you understand. But I don't feel optimistic. The world has changed. Ordinary people. And perhaps we could see similar scenarios elsewhere. Essential wisdom for hard times. And now the bill has come due. So we're losing carrying capacity because we're living by eroding the biophysical basis of our existence. 